Uh, I'm a little excited for this one, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Beardy Tour. As always, I'm your host, Miguel Brambila. Today, <laughs> today, we have a very, very special episode for you guys. This one is very cool. We're gonna take a little bit of a detour, okay, guys? Not everything's about beer. Well, this is a beer review show. Okay, anyways, we're gonna take a little bit of a detour. I'm not sure if these are considered beers. You guys will be the judge of that, but basically we have three bad boys here, all the way from down south, Mexico. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Tepache. This is De La Calle, which means from the streets, Tepache. Now, I've heard of Tepache, but I wasn't ever sure what it was, how it was made, or where it comes from, or what's up with it, if it's beer, does it have alcohol? These are questions that I need answered, okay? So that's what we're gonna try to figure out on today's episode. Let's do this, guys. asking guys is this a beer is this not a beer what are you doing i'm wondering the same thing uh tepache is a fermented beverage made from the peel and the rind of pineapples okay uh, and it is sweetened with either peloncillo or brown sugar uh, seasoned with powdered cinnamon and served cold though tepache is fermented for several days the resultant drink does not contain much alcohol so supposedly there is a little bit of alcohol in there uh, but not much i'm thinking it's a little bit more similar to like a kombucha and it's certainly um presented like that from the lacaya as you can see uh, craft fermented probiotics certified organic so one cool thing about this is that it does contain a lot of probiotics and antioxidants uh, so that's a plus it only has 35 calories and it's USDA certified organic. So all you healthy nuts out there uh, have your fill, right? It's organic, it's non-GMO, vegan, low calorie, gluten free, soy free. Hopefully it's not taste free because that's what I'm looking forward to. So I have three here. I bought these from my local Yolks market. Um, if you're not from this area, uh, it's sort of like a, a Whole Foods type of place where they sell a lot of um, healthy alternatives uh, to food and drinks. Uh, so this one was in the beer section. It was more in the kombucha section, but it caught my eye because I've ever, I've always heard of the bache, but I've never actually tried it. So today, you guys are gonna go ahead and try this with me because I'm gonna be doing a live taste test of all three of these. So uh, first up on back here, we have pineapple spice. We have tamarind citrus which I'm guessing is tamarindo citrus, <laughs> and ginger manzana, which is ginger apple. Okay, so if you guys don't know what de la calle means, basically means from the streets, all right? Uh, and the rest is pretty self-explanatory. It's a fermented beverage. They add spices, they add different type of uh, fruits in there, uh, but most of them are made with pineapple. Uh, pineapple, I believe. Um, you can find out more about De La Calle by going to delacaya.mx and checking out their about page. It gives you some information about their founders, how they created it, why they created it, and why they brought it to the States. So it's some very interesting stuff there. Uh, this fermented probiotic beverage has been made in Mexico for centuries. Thousands of versions of tepache exist, each varying in the spices or flavorings used, but the core of it all is pineapples. We use certified organic pineapples to create our tepache and we promise you this it's delicious and unlike anything you've ever tasted so that's straight from the source so i am very curious now guys to see what this looks like what this tastes like and then we're gonna give these a beer detour score let's do this guys
guys didn't know what tepache looks like, well now you know. So we have three distinctive flavors here. Uh, let's start right here. This is the tamarindo citrus. All right, so it has um, a very, very distinctive brown hue to it, just like uh, tamarind or tamarindo has. That's gonna be very interesting. Take a look at this uh, dirty mud water. Ooh, it does have a little bit of a uh, zesty citrus, pineapple um, aroma to it. Hmm, I can't smell the tamarindo in there, but it's very zesty, very citrusy, almost like an orange peel type of smell. And let's uh, check out this ginger manzana or ginger apple. Um, not too bad of the color. The color is like a uh, dirty uh, pineapple a yellow, almost like a, uh, a pear, um, a pear color, if that makes sense. Let's smell this bad boy. Ooh. I'm assuming that's going to be the apple. It has a sort of a apple cider vinegar type of smell. It's going to be interesting to say the least. And lastly, but not leastly, uh, pineapple spice. Pineapple spice. I'm guessing this is the sort of the original one, the main one. Mm, smells like pineapple. That's about it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm very curious to see what these taste like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rank them from my best to my worst tasting uh, one. So one, two, three, what I like the best, what I like the, what I don't like about them, and then I'm going to rank them. Okay, guys, so let's start off with the tamarindo one. I do like tamarindo. I love the candy. I love the actual uh, flavor of it. It has a very zesty, tangy taste to it. If you've never tried it, go try it. Anyways, let's get back here. All right, so this is the tepache. Tamarindo Citrus. Cheers, guys. Oh, okay. Very zesty. It's interesting. Um, I am not liking the aftertaste. A very fermented aftertaste. It's sweet. It starts up very sweet. And I think that's where the tamarindo and the citrus hits. But then it has this sort of um, this harsh aftertaste. And I think that's what's going to be prevalent throughout all these right here. Um, that's something that's going to you know, have to get used to. But it's not bad. It, it actually has a very nice zesty taste in the beginning. Um, not harsh. It's very mellow throughout. But at the end, it hits you with that very tangy sort of back of the mouth feel um, taste. And it kind of stays there. That's interesting. Let's uh, let's move over to uh, ginger manzana, guys. Let's move over to ginger manzana. This one looks a little bit more promising, but it actually, now that I smelled it again, it actually smells a little bit more fermented. It smells a little bit like tequila. I'm not kidding. Maybe it's the ginger. I don't know, but this straight up smells like somebody put tequila in like some squirt, um, maybe some apple. I don't know. Uh, here we go, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy is right. That's a, that's a strong scent, my friends. Wow, it's hard to describe this. It's not like beer at all. So uh, right off the bat, they are very carbonated, which is a nice touch. It's not like a very, you know, like, like a juice. It's more carbonated, but the flavors are very distinctive. Let's just say that. Uh, to be nice. Whew, okay. Ginger manzana. Um, how do I describe this? Uh, uh, lemon peel, um, ginger, that sort of uh, root type of flavor where it's very umami. It's The, the flavor is hard to kind of pinpoint, uh, but it's almost like a uh, vegetable type of very herbal tea, herbal type of taste it with a little bit of zing at the end from the apple citrus, but almost apple cider vinegar type of citrus. I was kind of right with this one. Okay, let's uh, move on. Um, let's try pineapple spice, guys. Pineapple spice is going to be my savior here. This one had a nice smell to it. I'll say that. It had a nice smell to it, okay? Ooh. 
right off the bat, the pineapple really hits your nose. Strong flavor, strong scent. Let's see about the flavor. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Yeah, a lot more mellow, a lot more mellow. Uh, I think pineapple spice is gonna be the way to go. It does have a little bit of, a, it's not spicy. I think the spice that it's trying to say is it has a little bit of a, a grainy feel to it, but the pineapple is really what covers this. The pineapple sweetness is really what covers it. All right, I think I'm ready. Uh, I'm gonna give all these a beardy tour score, but let's rank them first, okay? So let's start off with the best to worst, actually, this is the best. You guys already know that. So let's start with the best. And then I'm gonna do this. I think we have it. Uh, first, second, third, very, very third. But uh, this was my favorite, the pineapple spice, just because it has that sweet flavor. It's not overwhelming. It doesn't have that zesty kick. It doesn't get you in the back of the throat, uh, but it has a nice, very nice flavor, guys. So this one, I think, is the way to go. Pineapple spice, guys, if you guys wanna try it. But let's uh, start with the Beardy Tour score now. All right, guys, so I've ranked these from best to worst. Now, let's give it that all-important Beardy Tour score, guys. These are gonna be a little bit different because they're not beers. Um, of course, they're more of a kombucha style, fermented beverage, juice-like flavors, uh, but they are carbonated, so it's like a soda type of, I don't know, it's a mixture. Um, but the alcohol is not very prevalent. I, I forgot to mention the alcohol um, is not very prevalent. The, probably the one that tastes more like alcohol is this one here, uh, the ginger manzana. And it's not even alcohol, it tastes like tequila, honestly. Like this one here, you could trick somebody into believing this is tequila with like some type of citrus flavor because it's that overpowering. The fermented really goes up into your nostrils. So this one's really bad. I didn't like it. Uh, when it comes to like, if, if I was gonna drink this to try to get a buzz, I'm probably gonna shoot for this one. But in the taste test, which is what this show's all about, uh, I'm gonna review, I'm gonna recommend this one here, uh, the traditional pineapple spice as probably being the best one uh, to recommend to family and friends. So if you're gonna try these out and you see these in the store, um, try out this one here and then work your way down, you know. Uh, but these are really cool. These are interesting. Uh, it's different. It's off the beaten path, which is what I want the show to be about. I love presenting new stuff to you guys. And also for me, I love trying new stuff out. So this one is a little bit of a detour for my normal uh, beer reviews, but I think it's cool. I think it's interesting. So hopefully you guys, you guys will too. So uh, let's start with that beer detour score. This one here, 2.4. Get it out of here. <laughs> this one here, 5.4. Not too bad. I love I love the taste of the tamarindo in there. Throws in a nice zesty kick, but just overwhelming with that back aftertaste on it. Uh, too prevalent on that one. This one is really good, 6.2. Again, it's not something I'm gonna drink daily, but if I was to drink something uh, of this kind, of this tepache kind, of this tepache flavors, all the way from Mexico, certified organic, probiotics, craft fermented beverage, so I'm gonna call it now beverage. Uh, 6.2 for this one here. This one's probably the best one. This one's my favorite, guys. All right, guys, so I hope you guys learned something just a little bit about the pache so you guys can go out and try it for yourselves. If you're into flavor, uh, try this one. If you wanna catch a little buzz, try this one. And so you have a win-win either way, but I'd love trying new stuff for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I sure did. I had a lot of fun with this one. More to come, and you guys can make sure you see more episodes by subscribing down below. You wanna hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time a new video drops. Go ahead and like, share, comment. I appreciate you guys. More beer for the new year. See you guys next time.